All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn CSS grid by building a magazine. Step 14. So after the three P elements within our text element, we'll create a block quote element. And within that, we're going to add an HR element, a P element with the class set to quote, and a second HR element. Then we're going to give the quote element a, pardon me, the text of this right here. All right, cool. So after the three, we're going to create a block quote. Okay, so let's start with the block quote. We'll say block quote like that, and then close block quote like that. And then inside here, we're going to make an HR, a P, and another HR. But we'll set the P's class to quote, all right? So let's start with the HR. HR, and then close HR. It's horizontal rules, so it's basically just a line that's going across. Uh, and then we're going to do uh, the P element. So P like this, and then close P. And then we're going to call this the class Pardon me, we're going to give this the class of quote. Oops. Like that. All right. And then one more uh, line across the screen. HR like that. All right. And so let's check it. Let's look at it. Looking good so far. Let's put this text in there. All right. Put it inside the P right there. And so now we've got this block quote going on right there. Let's check it. Whoops. PM text. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. My bad. So there we go. Let's take this, drop it off here. And maybe not the period either. All right. So let's check it. Looks good and submitted. All right, now we're on to step 15, and see you next time.